We're going to start with that video of a thief unleashing gunfire in the middle of a neighborhood. Thanks for being with us here at 6. I'm Corey Stark. I'm Samantha Jones. The sun hadn't even come up when a University City man caught the crook and his accomplices. This car break in turned shooting happened in the northern part of University City near 170 just north of Olive. Now new at 6, all of this is causing safety concerns for that seemingly quiet community. First Alert Force Shoshana Stahl has the story you're only seeing here tonight. Make no mistake, they were shooting at me. Raw Wilkinson is reflecting on what happened to him last Wednesday when he was enjoying a cup of coffee in his backyard before sunrise. I noticed there was a car without any headlights on, so just the two yellow driving lights on got my attention. That's when Wilkinson got the feeling to check his security cameras, and he saw this, someone sitting in his car, shining a flashlight. As he started to walk out his front door, They shot at a retired military member. You know what I mean? They don't care about nobody. Wilkinson says he thinks he was targeted for being a gun owner. Nothing was taken, and thankfully, he wasn't hit, but his car was. There are too many little ones around here for me to retaliate, even though they shot at me. You know, the lives of the, my neighbors are more important. And what makes him the angriest? The impact it's had on the people who live around him. Nobody's been coming outside anymore, you know, because of this. Janina Toll has lived in University City for the last five years. First Alert 4 broke the news to her on Tuesday about the crime alert in her neighborhood. I do have a dog, but that's not going to stop a bullet. Toll says the neighborhood is usually pretty quiet and peaceful. Hearing something like this happened essentially in her backyard is both shocking and concerning. That is actually scary because I have a spawn back and I go in there all the time. You know, uh, how safe is it? Toll says she does see police patrol the neighborhood occasionally, but says a larger presence could prevent any more issues. In University City, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4.